a big start, got a good heart. First gotta say that, gotta think smart. So now let's break down into techniques one by one. The first technique is a double phoenix eye punch to the solar plexus and two fingers under the navel. So you start from here and you step forward. Step forward and straighten up from the elbow, punching to solar plexus height and two fingers under the navel. You punch with phoenix eye fist, so reduce your surface of hitting. Actually, you're focusing all your power there, the older body power and what you uh, create from the step. So you step forward and you like hitting with your body and punch. It's not just a hitting with your arm, but with your stance and your body together. The next one is an arm breaking technique. You have an arm here and you will catch uh, the elbow with one hand. You have a half grip at this soft point of the, uh, above the elbow somewhat above the elbow so you dig into the nerve and catching it fixing it like this and you catch the wrist as well and you make this opposite side motion like this right hand goes to the right left to the left so you're making this motion create a tension in the arm and in the forearm of the opposite person. Here you generate power mostly from your core, from your waist, because this range of motion is very, very short. If you do it for, uh, in a very long range with your arm, it won't be as effective as you do it on a very short range. But for this, you need a very good body integrity. So you use your waist to tear the arm. The next one is pushing. You push someone over using the power of your legs and your body as you step forward. He put on a guard or anyway, he put his hands in front of him and you push him forward by stepping, but it's not a slow push, it, it's a sudden push and hit. Once more, you do, I do it slow, step forward and hit here around the elbow or at the forearm, but not too much up. You still can do it over there, but the lower the better. So once more, from here, as you made the break. The next motion after you hit someone or push someone, you can do if he is tensing up. So all the shoulders and uh, the shoulder blades become more tense and it's more easier to make someone over. So you make a, a pull, a pull back. So punch and then pull. Slowly, you punch and you hook your fingers, you make a half catch. You're not holding the other person with your thumb, just using your four fingers to hook and use the whole stance and body to make someone coming over. If you do this, you can move slightly on the side as well, so it's not falling on you. 
The last movement, you bring it down, you close yourself, you push yourself together like a spring, and then from here you make a block. Bring the arms down like this, it's on the side. You imagine that you receiving a roundhouse kick from the side and then you put the arm in it. It can be a block for a hit, it can be for a kick as well. Double side, bring down, strike out. And then from here, close. And now the whole thing again. So this was the end of the form called Yamyun Kamla. When you practice this form, actually you need a very good short range power, which you can develop in certain methods, which what we teach. If you are interested in practicing such a method of power, and then you can check out our other courses as well.